Ladies and gentlemen, to this new tutorial today, we are learning the difference between null, undefined and empty. All right. So I start with the same document as we had in the last video. And uh, I start by writing a variable k, for example. I call this k and this value of this value of this variable is undefined. All right. And the type is undefined. All right. So to prove it to you, we say document dot write k. So now we get the value on on our uh, screen in our uh, in our uh, HTML page, and it says undefined. All right. Then, if I say type of k, and I'm reloading my page. You see, it still says undefined. So the type of K is undefined and the value is undefined. I'm commenting this out and I'm creating a new variable called K and I assign it to undefined. It's the same as in this line because the value of this variable is undefined and the type is undefined. So if I try to uh, show me uh, the value of this variable and reloading my page, it still says undefined. And when I'm trying to get the type of this variable and reloading my page, it still says undefined. So when I get a variable k and assign it to empty quotation marks, my value, my value is empty but my type is a string. So let's display our uh, value. Our value is empty. You see, there is nothing there. Our value is empty. But if I try to get the type of my variable k, and reloading my page, it says it's a string. All right. And the last variable I show you, it still says k and we say equals null and if we're reloading this you will see that the value of this is null but the type is an object all right so if i'm reloading my page with k it says null because the value of this variable is null but the type of k is an object. You see, the difference between undefined and null is if a variable is undefined, the value is undefined and the type is undefined. If a variable is null, the value is null, but the type is an object. And if a variable is empty, it is a type of string. So these are the differences. I hope this is not too confusing to you, but you will need to learn this uh, when you want to uh, create uh, JavaScript pages. So we we'll see us in the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button very hard and see us in the next video. Bye.